Django 1911 here and welcome to my channel. This here is a tabletop review of the other, the second type of knife that I was talking about that is indeed really fun to just play with. And this is of course the traditional Tagalog Batanggenyo butterfly knife aka the balisong well first off I'd like to thank some of the viewers for engaging me and suggesting that I minimize or just don't do the puppet show with as much with my fingers and the gloves because it's distracting and of course yes I do agree with him it's kind of annoying. I just pick the knife if I really need to from now on. Okay, this is the palisong, the butterfly knife. Most of us in the knife community are already familiar with it. Filipinos in general, we're very familiar with it. As for example, if I just go to a local mall, I'd find a locally produced, backyard produced balisong with carabao grips in them for 350 pesos. It has its limitations. I don't even have that knife. I mean, it's a balisong. And for now, I would prefer to have these things. Uh, they do not rust as fast. The problem with our balisong is they are made, most of the knives, handmade, backyard made, homemade knives here in the Philippines. As with any other knives, they come from the springs of the trucks and the cars. Not properly treated after having it into a knife not properly treated those kind of things are very prone to rust and with the humidity level here in the Philippines it is just a matter of time before knives like that rust and of course all knives rust if you do not take care of it but some just rust a little bit faster than others so we would prefer to stay with the knives that has a long anti-rust power with it this type of blade for the I'm sorry I was just I forgot to pick it out now I'm engaging the knife I'm so limited uh, anyways on with the review this this blade shape it's like a bowie upswept bowie knife shape is very familiar to the balisong I mean I, I see this most on any other balisong that I see here in the Philippines that that bowie shape jungle small bolo type upswept shape and this guy is The poster boy for what the balisong should be. Now there are two basic types of balisongs. It would be the sandwich type, the first type, which is this guy. Because basically you sandwich it with these two scales handles you sandwich the blade through it and all the spacers that you need to have sandwich with, especially the slot no, I mean, and the blade especially also <laughs> well both of them especially that's the sandwich type they're easily easily produced as compared to the other type which is the hmm. 
channel type. Open, see through, the channel type is closed on both ends. This particular sample, uh -huh, not injecting, no way, okay, I forced that, is a trainer. Is see through one is not and one is sharp and one is not and with the uh, additional textured grip it's called the wrinkle finish it is just much grippier than its standard steel finished brush steel finish cousin so two types that's the channel type this is the channel type and that's the sandwich type the prints on this blade is of course by the butterflies benchmade If you buy the authentic ones, these would cost you about 9000 here, maybe around, and if you can find it. If you are a collector, an avid collector, you find ways, if you can, within you, to have these and collect them. These are not for public use. I mean, you don't bring this to public, not if you want, if you want them to train in a, in a knife class, in a knife course, yes, you can bring this. But if for public use every day, there's more better knife choices to bring than a balisong because a balisong is just so limited on how you can deploy it. It's not for the emergency, quick emergency type use. You need to be very deliberate on how you open the knife. And I'm having trouble returning this guy there because it's adjustable now it's popping out okay it's locking good mm -hmm. very good small pressure and you're off and you pop now with a click so this is the balisong trainer i'm sorry to disappoint the viewers if you're expecting to have a flipping video it's kind of hard to do a flip in front of the camera and yes I do know how and that's the only thing I know how to flip I just like collecting them and maybe handling them for a bit and then yeah it goes back into the case so that's the trainer channel sandwich sharp not sharp trainer okay so this guy for me started everything it was free it just arrived on my doorstep I don't know where it came from from maybe one of my suppliers yes I'm sure I don't know from from whom <laughs> exactly and this guy was the one that called my attention into the back to the valley song I've always wanted I mean it's just ingrained in us that we would want a valley song if you're a Filipino 
it's just nice to have it's it's just nice to have a balisong but the thing with balisong uh, in some states i don't know if, correct me if i'm wrong they had it illegal because the reason was most of the people using them would end up cutting themselves or hurting themselves more than anything that's why the balisong was is not good for legal i mean i mean it was Ill illegal you can still collect it of course you can collect guns and it depends on how it's a different topic altogether but it depends on how you can keep or be responsible enough to keep your things the printed one and it has a it's like a traction coat I, I'd say it's a traction coat and it's got a different blade shape to it sandwich type bears brushed stainless steel handles lock pops out and because of that guy I got to get other uh, others just like him and then this guy which is basically the same as the trainer the red trainer both in that family and they are just nice to have let's put them sideways Then came the crisis. This is another <laughs> Filipino knife that is just an icon among ourselves. We share it very much with Indonesia. That's why we're considered as brothers. Because if you just look and look at an Indonesian and a Filipino we're basically the same we just speak a different language and this is the satin oh, sorry. Chris single-edged not double-bladed I think I don't have a double-bladed that's the most dangerous for flipping you cut your you can cut your thumb with that because the the sharp edge comes back to you and the crisp black nice pop out lock And another black with the yeah basically a thinner jungle bolo up swept style blade check out the coping it's focusing on the knives at the back I'm sure there you go
and this is my last with the blue anod uh, anodized blue with that shape of blade something's not here I just <laughs> thought about it now but it's basically a blue with this shape the popular bowie upswept bowie shape and it's not here okay so these are my ballet songs at the moment and yeah I play with them a bit and it's like I said it, it's just needed in any collection However, it may be whatever it may be, as long as you have a Balisong collection safely tucked away, no one knows, but no one would dare get it, or at least it's gonna be very hard for them to take it from you. I need to weigh it, forgot the weighing thing, but let's see who's the heaviest among them okay, guys. Three, one, two, and then face it number one this bowie style 132 Yeah, 132 on the channel 168 so the channel type is basically heavier by about 30 grams and then the sandwich type 137 Traction coated 130 lightest so far. Yep. And the Chris 129. Hmm. Lighter by one gram. So that's the lightest so far. I'm sorry. Then the black Chris. 127 it's even lighter I thought the coating would add something it's 128 127 yeah. the upswept bowie and black 132 just about the same with the satin bowie and then the last 131 so yeah that's about where they are 127 was the lightest 128 and the heaviest uh, one this one I forgot this red one but yeah so there they are my balisong knives at the moment I am lacking one oh well and I'm just about to approach the 20 minute mark and I'd say that's just expected and how Bali songs can be because we can talk about them for a long time because there are lots of topics that you can just the conversation piece you haven't even bothered about the flipping the maneuvers you can do with the Bali song and yeah I'm, all, I'm already doing it with his fingers and I'm sorry because that's confusing according to a viewer so I'm sorry about that and I just try to minimize that actually okay as usual thank you for bearing with me and being being with me this long thank you for watching the video and hope to review more knives soon 
firearm soul soul and as always thank you for watching see you guys the next time